Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to adjust the angle constraints in the Structure Grid Solver. So I'm going to select this domain and go to Grid Solve, go to the Edge Attributes tab. Now you'll notice that all of the edges of this domain have been highlighted in white, and I can actually adjust their spacing and their angular controls individually. In this case, we're going to be talking about the angle controls. So what angles am I referring to? Well, if I select this edge, basically the angles that I'm referring to are the angles these grid lines make with that edge. And I can, I can control that angle by selecting four different methods, one of four different methods to compute what that angle should be. The first is orthogonal, which basically means that it will enforce a 90 degree angle relative to that boundary or that edge that's been highlighted in white. Interpolate will linearly interpolate along the boundary between the boundary end values. Current grid will just use the current angles uh, in this grid. And then adjacent grid will pick up the angles that are being used in adjacent domain that's been loaded into the solver simultaneously. Now the angular constraints that are computed or specified can be blended to the interior three different ways. One is using a default exponential another using linear or a custom exponential that the user is able to specify a DK factor. Okay, so in this example, I have a concave corner and I'm gonna set the angle uh, method down here on this edge to orthogonal and then just run this 100 iterations. And you'll notice what happens is as these uh, grid lines kind of achieve this 90 degree angle relative to that boundary, some pinching is going on in this corner. And this is typical of what happens in a concave corner if you use that orthogonal angle method. So instead what we should use is the interpolate method and run this again, another 100 iterations, and you'll notice that it's gonna linearly interpolate between this kind of fixed angle here and the fixed angle at the other end of that edge, and you'll notice that it eliminates that pinching. And this is the solution you should use when you have something like this occurring in a concave corner. So that's how you can use the angle controls in the Structure Grid Solver. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.